Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. This um, lesson is showing actually the solution for a coin word problem or a word problem involving coins. Um, I'm going to go through the basic steps of how you would solve that and then show you an example using one coin problem. These problems tend to be a little lengthy, so we're just going to do one problem today. So the steps for solving. First off, you want to set up a table. Then using that table, you're going to write an equation and then you're going to go ahead and solve the equation. Those are the three main steps for solving any coin problems in algebra. So let's go ahead and look at a coin problem. Here's an example I made up. I have 28 coins that are a mixture of quarters, dimes, and nickels. I have twice as many nickels as dimes and I have a total of $4.25. How many of each coin do I have? So there's enough information given here but it'd be very challenging to try and write it out in an equation. So to figure this out, what we do is we make up a, ta a table. You can see the table that I've created here has the types of coins over on the left and then across the top on the, in that row has the number of coins, a column for the value of each coin and then another column for the total values. All right. So we start filling in the information that we know from the question up here. First off, the number of coins. Dimes, we're going to call that x. That's our unknown value. We don't know how many dimes there are. And everything else we're going to fill in, we're going to try and fill in using x. All right? So the first thing we're told is that we have twice as many nickels as dimes. So our dimes are going to be x. Our nickels will be two times x, or twice as many. All right, we're not going to put up three variables, d for dimes, q for quarters, n for nickels, because that doesn't help us. Using the same variable for all three coins is how we're going to be able to actually solve this. So dimes are x, nickels are twice as many as x. Now quarters becomes the challenge. We're not told anything about quarters, but what we do know is that the total number of coins is 28. So if we take 28 coins and we subtract the number of dimes and nickels that we have, then we will get the number of quarters. So although this one here looks the most complicated, what we're doing is taking the total number of coins, which is 28, and we are subtracting the nickels and dimes. All right? So 28 coins minus however many nickels we have minus however many dimes we have is going to give us the total number of quarters that are left over. And this we will reduce down to 2x plus 2 is just 3x. We'll do that in just a minute. The value of each coin, that one we can fill in pretty quickly. Quarters are worth 25 cents, dimes are worth 10 cents, and nickels are worth 5 cents. So we can do that all at one time, just fill that column in. Now the total value, if a dime, for example, is worth, we have X number of dimes, whatever number it is, and each dime is worth 10 cents, then we would multiply the number of dimes times the amount that it's worth to give us our total number. So that's what we're going to do in each of these columns. We're going to multiply the number of coins times the value to get the total amount of money we have in quarters. The most complicated one of these is definitely the quarters. We, again, in this step I've simplified 2 plus x, 2x plus x is 3x. So the number of coins is 28 minus 3x. You see that right there. 28 minus 3x is the number of coins and our coin value is 0 0.25. So I'm just going to multiply those. This one here is a little bit more simple. Um, the number of coins is x, the value of each coin is 10 cents, so it's 10 cents times x. And this one here, it's 5 cents times 2x. We also know one more piece of information that I haven't put up there yet, and that's that we have a total of $4.25. That's stated right in the question right there. So we can put that in. That's our total value right here. Now, when you're set up, this is the first step getting the table. This is probably the most challenging part. Um, people tend to freak out, especially when you see the quarter section, what you have here. The next part is to set up an equation. My equation is going to look like this. The amount of quarters in dollars, like how much, the total value of quarters, plus the value of dimes, plus the value of nickels, 
is equal to our total value. So in other words, this plus this plus this equals this. And that's what I'm going to substitute into this equation. So 0 0.25 times 28 minus 3, that's how much money, worth of money I have in quarters, plus the amount of money I have in dimes, plus the amount of money I have in nickels, and my, is equal to my total amount. And now what I'm going to do is simplify this. I'm going to simplify by getting rid of parentheses here, multiplying these two together, and in the case of quarters, the most complicated, I'm going to use the distributive property. I'm going to multiply 0 0.25 times each term inside of the parentheses. So 0 0.25 times 28, and 0 0.25 times negative 3x. And this is what I'll end up with. All right. So that's my next step. And again, here you saw 0 0.5 times 2 became 0 0.1x. Now, on the left side of the equation, I'm going to join together all of my x values. When I add them all together, I take 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.75, and I'll get a negative 0.55x. That's how many x's I have. And I still have my value of 7 here that I got by multiplying 0.25 times 28. So I still have the value of 7 on the left side of this equation. Now I'm going to move that value of 7 from the left side to the right side of the equation by subtracting 7 from both sides. So I've done that on both sides of the equation. That gets rid of this 7 and leaves all the x values on the left and all the numbers on the right. And that's a negative 0 0.55. Right, I didn't change anything here. I just forgot to write that in. All right. So that's negative 0 0.55. And now I'm going to solve for my final answer, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation divided by negative 0 0.55. That will leave me with x by itself. And again, I'll have to fill that in. That's still negative. All right, that leaves me with x by itself. And I know that x is equal to positive 5. Because this negative here, sorry, on the right, divided by negative 0 0.55 gives me a positive 5 and x is left by itself. Now, what does that mean? That means the total number of dimes is 5. That's what that means, all right? Because x is the number of dimes. If you look back at the table, that you'll see that. So the table tells us that x is the number of dimes, right there, the number of coins. And so we can fill that in we have five dimes. Now I'm going to move ahead here and solve for the number of nickels. Um, the number of nickels is two times x. Two times x, or in other words, two times five. So that's the number of nickels that I have. And that number two times five is equal to 10. So two times five in this math class is equal to 10. Um, the next step is for me to find the number of quarters. Now I look at this and say, wow, that's, that's nasty. 28 minus 2x plus x, that's going to be something big. But I can know that, well, 2x is my number of nickels and x is my number of dimes. So really what I'm saying is the total number of coins minus my nickels and dimes. And I write that as 28 minus 15. So 28 minus 15 is going to give me my final answer for the number of quarters. So I go ahead and do that quick subtraction. 25 minus, or 28 minus 15 gives me 13. And so my final answer is that there are five nickels, or 10, five dimes, 10 nickels, 13 quarters. Total of 28 coins that make $4.25.